Hey guys, Venus here, back more Persona 4 Golden. Last time we did a lot of completely inconsequential stuff. I think the most important thing is we maxed out Tajima's social link. Uh, but now we need to go check the Midnight Channel to confirm that Naoto is in fact safe. And then we will likely be bombarded with a ton of story involving Naoto. Fog set in, blah blah blah. Doo -doo 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 -doo. No one's appearing on Midnight Channel since Nato has been rescued, blah blah blah. Meanwhile, in a in the fogging shopping district. Damn it again? Blah blah blah. Talk talk talk. Hey fam. Are you feeling better now? Yes, thanks to all of you. You're welcome, number one waifu. I mean Naoto. I'd like to thank you once again for what happened. No problem. Don't mention it. But hey, your uniform. Ah, uh, what about it? Huh? Ah, uh, yes. After contemplating the matter, I went with what I've okay. been wearing thus far. There's no need for you to... Hey, it's the Detective Prince. That's no Prince. I heard he's a she. Wow. And I thought Yosuke was an asshole. Huh? Y you serious? If he's a she, then... Uh, oh, crap! My boner makes so much sense now. Uh, I'm kind of disappointed. But then again, there's something neat about it. I might swing that way, ooh. Yeah, if you look at it a certain way, doesn't she seem pretty cool? My, my, rumors spread so quickly. <laughs> like, A, those four people were complete assholes for gossiping literally five feet away from Naoto. And B, now so you seem just completely fed up with it. You're like, wow. Oh boy. We're on your side, don't worry. Thank you. But it doesn't bother me at all. There's no need to worry on my behalf. So please, treat me as you did before. Will do, Naoto. Number that one aside, waifu. I'd like to discuss the case with you all. We're dealing with a kidnap and murder case perpetrated by someone lurking in this very town. Yeah, very likely. And it isn't over yet. To be fair, we don't actually have confirmation that they live in the town. They could be from the town over, just cross, whatever. Let's go over the finer points after school. Will do. I mean, when it comes to serial killers, normally they have their, like, their range of motion that's normally centered around where they live. So it's not a far-off assumption that you're making. But there is that still low percent chance otherwise. First, I heard the doorbell ring. But when I opened the front door, I saw no one there. Just a giant TV! Just as alarm bells sounded in my mind, someone grabbed me roughly from behind and covered my mouth with something. That's impressive. That they were able to ding-dong ditch you, circle around your house, break in, all the time it took for you to reach the door. When you're a detective! Immediately afterward, I was put into something like a sack, and most likely carried on the culprit's shoulder. Wow, how could you remember all that? Because she's a detective. The culprit seems to have used a chemical to incapacitate me, but luckily I wasn't completely unconscious. As part of my detective training, I've ingested multiple types of poisons to become slowly immune to them over time. I had been expecting a trick what? along those lines, so I was somewhat prepared. And of course, I was desperate to gather as much information as I could. No wonder you're an ace detective! Thanks, Teddy. That ain't something to be proud of. You are too damn calm about all this. Judging by their actions and body type, I'd say the culprit is definitely a man. 
I heard no conversations okay. or voices, so I believe he is acting alone. So we narrowed it down to about 50% of the world population. It's a start. It's after that that things get murky. I felt a single impact, which I assume is when I was thrown inside the TV. Which sounds ridiculous now that I say that out loud, but... But the time from kidnapping to that point seemed too short. It was a matter of minutes. So you were immediately thrown inside the TV after being kidnapped. Yeah, it's almost as though Naoto has a TV in her house. Oh, could there have been a TV on the side of the road? Or in her house? Regrettably, my memory from there on is a blur. I see. I mean, to be fair, we never tested whether or not a TV needs to be on if we are to enter it. We've only tried on, like, two TVs, and one of them's in my room. But man, the killer came right up to the door and rang the bell? That's just crazy. Also, for a household of detective, you and your grandfather, you don't have a security camera on your front door? I guess it takes place in 2011, 2012, whatever. So the concept of a nest wasn't around. But if this happened in 2020, you'd be like, oh man, I have a camera on my front door. I finally understand why you all testified that you couldn't recall much of what happened. <laughs> yeah. Such a bizarre experience with mental and physical fatigue on top of it. It's only natural to be confused. And, going by the surrounding circumstances, my kidnapping and everyone else's were near identical. Pretty much. There yeah. is no question that the culprit is the same in each case. Very good. So, that Mitsuo boy who said he killed King Moron... For God's sake, the guy's dead! Call him by his actual name! Everything makes sense now. I can't say for sure until I gather more concrete evidence. Oh, God damn it. I understand that you hated your teacher, but at least call him his name while he's dead. Jesus Christ. But Mitsuo Kubo's only victim was Mr. Moraoka. It was a copycat killing that mimicked the true culprit's method. No wonder King Moron's death broke the pattern in so many ways. Yeah. No shits. The question remains, though, as to how Kubo learned of that world. He, he didn't. That's it! That's what was bothering me! Mitsuo could enter the TV, right? Then why didn't he kill King Moron that way? Because he didn't. I believe he didn't understand the other world as well as the true culprit. Or he didn't do that. Even though I can now enter it myself, it wouldn't occur to me to use it for murder. And remember, the previous corpses left no sign that their deaths had anything to do with the other world. Or the mold's more likely situation of... He was also kidnapped After because he matches the fucking no pattern. Run, he probably thought for the first time, "What if I put my entire body into the TV?" No, he literally fits the pattern of every other victim. The bizarre condition of the corpses that caused such commotion is probably because they died on the other side. It's a simpler explanation than figuring out why the killer would risk disposing of the bodies in such a way. Sure. Which means their inexplicable condition of being hung on a foggy day wasn't due to the culprit making a statement. Much of our speculation could be tested if we could ask Kubo in person. However, but. I've unfortunately been taken off the investigation. Yeah, I wonder why. And I highly doubt that the police will believe any of this. It's not like we could just show them, you know. It's not like we could just walk up to TV, put our hand through it, and go, Look at this weird magic bullshit. Th yeah, they won't believe any of this. They wouldn't admit that it wasn't Mitsuo in the first place. Once you've said something on TV, it's not easy to admit you were wrong. Rise knows best. I believe the primary cause of my dismissal was because I raised that possibility to them. The police won't readily concede that they made false charges. All the more so if the accused is a juvenile. Yeah, that that sounds very police-like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No comments. No comments necessary. That is entirely accurate. In fact, the overwhelming sentiment with the police force is to end this case with his arrest. 
Why does that Even make if sense? It's possible there's another killer? Those dickheads. I had a feeling that would be the case. Not that I trusted him in the first place. Oh, shocking. Kanji doesn't trust the cops. But, uh, Naoto, if you were that calm when it happened to you, couldn't you have, you know... I'm not saying you should have caught him, but isn't it kind of sad for an ace detective to go down that easily? She is a 15-year-old girl. Um, um, to tell you the truth, I was really scared. Oh. I'm sorry. Good job, Yosuke. None of us could resist the culprit either. Don't forget, Naoto-kun is younger than us, and she's a girl. Seriously, they took Kanji. And you want Naoto to be able to defend herself? Oh yeah, that's true. I keep forgetting when I see her talking like this. You know, Naoto? What is it? You got balls. For a girl. Shut up, Yosuke! Regardless, I have no doubt that the culprit will continue with his attacks. We can only watch and wait for him to make the next move. But this is no longer a mere job or someone else's affair. I want to know the truth of why we were targeted. Because you were shown on the TV. Please allow me to join your effort. Okay. Of course, anything now, so anything. Thank you very much. Kanji, you're off the team. I'll do my best, leader. Now to join the group. She'll definitely be a strong asset in solving the case. And you're filled with determination. Eight out of ten, we're getting close. The investigation team's social link has reached level eight. You're powered to create full arcana, blah blah blah. Since I'm the king of the geniuses, I what? knew it would work out this way. Alright, glasses. Now Chan's glasses. Thank you. Why are you why are you giving me glasses again? Now Toast asking. They told me about you, Teddy. I can sympathize with your drive to find yourself. If I may help in any way, let me know. Teddy's like, uh, that's genuine kindness. I'm not used to that. Wow. What a nice girl. Unlike Chie who kicks me, Yukiko who poisons me, and Rise who just mercifully stomps on my ego. The true culprit is still at large. For now, you'll just have to wait for them to make the next move. Welcome back! Okay, so let's save. And that's definitely why I wanted to uh, do that. Like, make a new episode for that, because that just took 12 minutes. So, Naoto. Naoto uses a gun. Uh, ooh. Starts off with really, really shitty equipment. Peach Battle Suit, what do you do? Evade Physical Low? Hmm. Uh, I'd rather have that on Yukiko, because it'll stack with her flying disc. And then you can have the Charm Drape. Drape. Spiral Earrings, which does nothing. Uh... You have a Falcon Eye for now. Clothing! Interesting, so her clothes are male clothes, okay. Uh, let's put you in a jersey. And now her persona makes her one of the most best characters in the game. Because she gets insta-kill moves! Starts off with Hamaman, the light medium chance, and Mudun, the dark medium chance. So awesome already. I don't remember her starting off with Agidine and Garudine, that's for sure. That makes her better. As well as Megidola to do almighty damage, Tempest Slash, Deathbound, Learns Tetracorn. Jesus Christ! I don't remember her having all these freaking moves. 
I remember the insta-kill moves, but I don't remember the rest. Jesus. Now, the only issue is that they're single targets. I would prefer if I had some the AoE ones, but whatever, beggars, choosers, and all that. God damn. God damn, now it's over. Yeah, I got the Jewel Beetle. Now I have one chance. Next time it's raining. Nanako. Still not enough, okay. Now it's all. Excuse me. So. Do you have time after school today? For you? Of course. Did something happen? No. Rather, I'd like to have a doctor examine Teddy. A doctor? You mean a vet? <laughs> the normal kind, actually. If you're free, I've scheduled a checkup for him after school today. A thorough physical examination might be a good first step in figuring out what Teddy is. Because if you think about it, he shouldn't exist. And I thought it might be a good idea for the rest of us to get checkups as well. True, who knows what sort of background radiation we've been slowly absorbing over the past six months. We should see if the fog over there or the power we've gained have had any negative effects on our health. Since you all have been active on the other side far longer than I have, you should definitely be examined. Fair enough. Negative effects? D don't drop scary stuff on us like it's nothing. But yeah, I never even thought about that. Naoto, the most competent person in the game. I've arranged to have Kanji-kun and Rise-san looked at as well. Wow, you're on the ball about all this. Are you sure you're not an adult? Her height's a big giveaway, though. She will Claire, shoot you. I'll see you all after school. You'll be going to the hospital after school at Naoto's recommendation. Okay, guess so. Why not? Nothing suspicious about that. Everyone underwent a thorough physical at the hospital Nanto recommended. That was just an ordinary checkup. No shit. Huh, I was kind of looking forward to getting into some gigantic machine and being spun around. Why would they put you in a centrifuge? Centrifuge. Was there really a point to this? The doctors look confused too. Oh, they're back. I'm very sorry for the wait. Don't worry. I'm very sorry for the wait. Shut up, Teddy. So did they find out anything about Teddy? Yeah, nothing in there. They did indeed. They found out that they can't tell anything about him. What? I even had them take an x-ray, but nothing came up on it. As in, literally nothing. No matter how many times they tried, it would always be too blurry to read. What? A visual examination and standard palpations indicated that he seems perfectly normal. Since the machine what? could be malfunctioning, they told me to try another hospital if we're still worried about like, him. How's, it, how's that physically possible? I felt bad for making them go through all this. So he is different. Yeah, we knew oh that. Oh my, what should I do? He's physically impossible. They took a look at everything inside me. And found nothing. She just said they couldn't see anything on the x-ray, you dork. You dork. But at least they didn't find anything wrong with them, right? Man, we know as much about Teddy as we do those personas and shadows. Oh yeah, I tried looking them up at the library and on the net. Man, if only you had talked to those people at Gekko, Gekko High or whatever. Probably would have found out a lot about personas, but nope. Nope, nope. Persona means something like... Another personality. And now we're getting to the actual psychological aspect of it. Thank you. And I think they listed shadow under the related terms. Yeah, oh uh, shit, I forget which psychologist talked about it. But yeah, personas and shadows are actual terms used in psychology. Shadows are shadows. I think there's something that comes out of people. Um, I can't really explain. I performed my own research after the incident. Persona and Shadow 
are common psychological terms. Okay. Of course, the ones we are familiar with don't quite fit those definitions. Yeah, shockingly, they don't talk about magic that much in terms of psychology. This is what it's was weird. written in an unofficial project document that I happened to come across. Go on. A shadow is suppressed power, and when controlled by one's ego, it becomes a persona. That was unofficial? It becomes a persona? What does that mean? They're, Kanji. they're basically the same thing? Don't think too hard, Kanji. Your, your eyes are sort of uh, freaking out there. Well, then again, all those shadows we beat the shit out of did turn into personas. Well, some of them did. Who cares about the details? It doesn't matter what they are. They get in our way, I'll crush them. I hit them with a chair. Still, I couldn't find any information on how they're related to the other world. <sighs> There's so much stuff about us that we don't have a clue about. There's some things we do know, though. Okay, so Teddy, you have a 50-50 shot of being helpful or unhelpful. Which one are you going to choose? Mm-hmm. I got a bunch of awesome data with me. It's kind of embarrassing that I'm the only one who had personal unhelpful. details got shown it. to the world, so... Ta-da! Ta-da! Nowadays, information wants to be free. Therefore, I'll break the ice by announcing the results of everyone's physical exams. Uh, what? What? No, you won't! Give them to me now! Ooh! First place in the shortest legs division is... Huh, who would have guessed? guessed? It's not me, is it? Hey, what kind of things did they examine anyway? I'm surprised that that's... Is that a thing? Do they measure how long your legs are? Is been a while since I've taken a physical. Look, if you're gonna blab at all, you might as well tell us the girls' measurements. Yosuke, you already bought swimsuits for Chie and Yukiko, so I think you know their measurements. Because you're a filthy little pervert asshole who blackmailed his classmates into wearing swimsuits. Fuck you. And we're in a hospital, so shut up, Chie. Sure, go right ahead. My profile's been public knowledge for ages. Oh, nice. but my bus size is two centimeters smaller than they print. My agency insisted. <laughs> no! Don't say mine! <laughs> what you say so blessé about it, I love it. It's like, eh, whatever. Aw, I bet guys won't care what size you are, senpai. And having modestly sized breasts like yours would definitely make it easier to wear a kimono. What? <laughs> oh yeah, Naoto Kun's in here too, huh? Um, let's see. Naoto Kun's is. Huh? What? Is this for real? <laughs> Wait, isn't this measured wrong? So that means they're really either really fucking big or really really tiny. Uh, anyways, the important thing is that according to the examination results, nothing's wrong with our health. <laughs> oh, cough. So we won't be needing these anymore. You can go. Fire. Use Agi. I'm going to go shred them. Agi hello. Agi lao. Agi lao now! Uh, well, thank goodness everyone's healthy. Y you're right. Let's go home. After all that, they found out nothing about me. I wonder what I really am. You're a bear. We'll find out together, Teddy. Yeah, thanks, Sensei. Teddy is gazing at you with gratitude in his eyes. You're filled with determination. Still only rank 6, though. Uh, new ability, what you give me? Maracunda. Increase, oh, decrease all foes' defense for 3 turns. Hmm. I don't care about that. It's shockingly hey, unuseful. If you don't hurry, we're gonna leave you guys behind! Yay! Welcome, Welcome back. back! Oh. 
So they want me to study. Well, let's be honest. Don't I have maxed out knowledge already? I do. I need diligence and understanding still. But cool. Good morning, Senpai. Exams start next Friday, but I'm just not in the mood for schoolwork. The true killer is somewhere else. We're the only ones who know that. If we don't act, the case will grind to a halt. Mm, tests... Uh, tests are important, too. I'm not saying they aren't. I'm just feeling anxious. We're the only ones with the ability to solve this case, and yet we have no way to act. Anyway, we can only wait for the culprit to make his move. We must not forget to check the Midnight Channel, too. This is a crucial moment. Cool, bye. Good morning, everyone! Guess what? We're going to have exams at the end of next week! Hope that nobody in here is being an ostrich and goofing around without doing any studying! Ostrich? What? Why did I say ostrich? Because it's a common myth for someone who avoids inconvenient truths. It comes from the common mistaken belief that ostriches bury their heads in sand and face oncoming danger. Feel safe just because you can't see the problem. Sure, science came from reality. Don't be like a fake ostrich. There's another kind of bird though that has cowardly connotation in English. Lay down me, Phoenix. Be brave. Tell me what bird's name means coward in English. Obviously, it's sparrow. It's chicken. Duh. Alright, that's correct. Chicken's a word for coward in English. Their main theories as to why. You know how you get goosebumps when you're scared, right? Looks like a defender chicken skin. Wait. Then why are they call it goosebumps, not chicken bumps? Doesn't matter. The fact is, you need to face reality and boldly prepare for your test next week. Cool, thanks. Is it raining today? Nope. Oh, it's freezing! It's October and you're wearing a tank top. No shit. Why are we getting together on the roof on a day like this? Yeah, what's this urgent business about, Yosuke Senpai? God damn it, Yosuke. Seriously, I was busy handing out flyers at Juness. Hey, I saw you hitting on girls just outside the school gate. Was there some kind of progress in the case? No, of course not. Yosuke's the one talking. I need you guys. You have to help me. You're the only ones I can rely on. Can you please keep this weekend open? <sighs> this weekend? Does this have anything to do with that event at the Inaba police station that's been canceled? That seems like a leap, but it's probably true. What are you talking about? The idol Konami Mashita was scheduled to be the honorary chief this Sunday. What's that mean? Oh my god! The famous Kahneman is coming all the way out to the boonies! Do you even know who that is, Teddy? So she's taking on jobs like that already. I have been seeing a lot of her on TV lately. I didn't know she belonged to the same agency as you, Risei-chan. I don't remember this for some reason. I mean, if she's coming to Inaba now, the agency's obviously trying to use all the fuss about me to their favor. So what's the big deal about that being cancelled, Yosuke-senpai? There was going to be a big sale at Juness to take advantage of the event, but now it's down the tubes! Yep. It's not a joke! The police took forever to decide on cancelling the event. My dad's really in a fix now. I mean, to be fair... The... Any contract the police will have had to set that up should leave them liable for cancelling it too late. So you would... They would still have to pay you a decent amount of money in reparations. He worked so hard to put this whole thing together, and I can't stand to see him like this. I can't just let it go. I heard that the police couldn't prepare for the event because I had gone missing. Whoops. I'm sorry. This is my fault. Now, so you were missing for like two or three days. At most. No, it's not your fault. Don't blame yourself. But yeah, it does seem like that's what happened. Yeah, it's not your fault. But it's your fault, so, hmm, blackmail. Okay, so you called us up here. What do you want us to do about it? 
From the way it sounds, I gotta say, I don't think we can be much help. I know, we can do a disappearing trick involving TVs and our faces. I want everyone to help me with a bunch of different tasks. Um, Risa-san, well, if you could, you know, do an event at Juness. You want me to substitute for Konami? Ooh, Risa is like, Wow, Yosuke, what little respect I had for you. Hmm. So there's no way? Is it really that bad? I don't know. I may be his son, but I'm still only a part-timer. But my dad's being awfully nice for some reason. I think it's possible that he might get fired if this thing falls through. <sighs> if that happens, I might have to transfer schools again. <laughs> Seriously, what am I going to do if that happens? Uh, cry? Singing and handshakes only. No autographs and nothing that I can't do as a high school student. Otherwise, I'll get in trouble. And I'll only do it if you all get on stage with me. Oh, boy. Yeah, I definitely don't remember this. What? Wait! I'm no idol! It would be troublesome if people came to try to recruit me to be an idol. Me too! I already have an exclusive contract with Juness. Do you, though, Teddy? I think you guys are worrying about the right things here. But if you're going to sing, what are we supposed to do on stage? Backup dancers! Left shark, go! I need a band, of course. I'll make this very clear. I can't use pre-recorded tracks. What? Excuse me? Whoa, whoa, there's no way we can pull off something like that! Especially since Yosuke said this weekend. Which is tomorrow to Saturday. I experience playing the keyboard. My grandfather suggested that I take piano lessons when I was younger. I have one that I can bring as well. You're up for this? Eh, sure, why not? This incident is a result of my actions, after all. I will do whatever I can to help. Naoto, thanks. If it's music you need, I have a guitar. I've never really played it, though. That's not helpful! Oh, wait. I accidentally bought a bass once. I think it's in storage. To be fair, I am in the band. I play a trumpet. I'm talking about my character, not me. You buy something like that. I bet you just thought it was another guitar. Yeah, well, yes. Hmm. I should have some kind of musical instrument at my place. For dinner parties and such. Well, like a tambourine or... Some kind of instrument? Oh, boy. Then it's decided. This is gonna suck. I'll look for a song I can sing that can use a band arrangement. You guys get instruments and find a place to practice. I hate Hi. this plan. Try to pick an easy one, okay? How, how long do we have to plan this out? All right. Now that this is happening, I'm getting fired up about it. Let's go ask if we can borrow the music room at school. Sure. So, what are we going to do with these? She actually did bring a tambourine. I just grabbed whatever I could find that wasn't being used by the symphonic band. What is that? Oh, she brought the gong. It's a gong. Well, duh. I'm pretty sure he meant to ask, what is that doing here? I thought Chie might want to play that. You know, it sounds kind of Chinese-ish. Um, I don't think that's gonna really matter in this case. Not many songs with vocals use a gong. Yosuke, try holding these! Huh? And they're sort of like knives. I see. Yeah, you do look like that when you're fighting. Try summoning your persona while you're holding those. I will laugh if Jiraiya ends up sum being summoned right now. Alright. Persona! Wait, I can't summon it here. Damn it! I really hoped you would. It's weird, because the- I'll choose this, then. The Persona 3 people can summon their personas in the real world. At least they could in the manga. I never read the Persona 4 manga. Hmm. I should do that at some point. 
<laughs> look, look! Isn't this like my fan? Just don't throw it. I think she's convinced we're playing for a dinner party at the inn. So we have maracas, a tambourine. Come on, we need stuff like guitars instead of little backup instruments like these. Hey, I'll play the guitar. Why don't you take the bass? I can at least teach you a little bit. Sure, Yosuke. Yeah. Don't underestimate, dude. Also, I'm it. My character's in the yeah, fucking band and plays the damn trumpets! Play. I'm gonna trust you. Well then, since you two and Natsukun have decided what to play, let's put Kanji on drums. Hey, why don't I get to pick? If you're up front, it'll look like a metal band. Fair enough. I think you'd be good at the drums. You're always hitting and stomping on things, after all. How does that make any sense? Yeah, it really doesn't. <laughs> then I will take over all the charming percussion accoutrement. What? Hey, baby. I'll lay down the passionate beats that flow from my soul. Sure. Stop wiggling your hands that way. Uh, so that leaves Yukiko and me? You two. Um, how about the chorus? There is a part for that. How about Shie is a backup dancer because she's athletic and... Singing? No, 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 can do. We'll hold something. Let's see. What looks easy? This is gonna suck. I don't know about you, but high school bands don't sound good. Oh, doesn't this at least look like a band? <laughs> Yeah, I don't think it looks bad at all. Tr scenes shortly before a train wreck. It's not doing anything. God fucking damn it. Is this thing broken? I'm blowing, but the air goes right through. Purse your lips, for fuck's sake. It's a brass instrument. You don't blow, you vibrate your lips. You go with your lips. For fuck's sake. I was actually in band, okay? I played trumpet for a while. When they start out. Anyway, we don't have much time, so let's start practicing. God, those instruments are probably so out of tune. What's with all the tadpoles on this paper? Teddy doesn't even know how what music notes look like. Oh yeah, I don't know how to read music. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to transfer schools after all. Like, what were you expecting, Yosuke? You all practice on your own until it gets dark. You decide to meet again tomorrow. Great, waste my time. Okay, so I'm going to save the game there and stop. Because this is probably going to eat up a lot of time. Which is also unfortunate because I can't get now to a social link. Until I get free time again during the day. So fuck you guys. Fuck you game. Let me hang out with Naoto. I have not a lot of time to make her my girlfriend. Like, seriously, not a lot of time. So uh, thank you guys so much for standing by watching the video. If you like the video, do the thing that does the thing, lets me know about the thing. And until next time, bye bye.